fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty Hal Silver, the Lone Ranger. <laughs> With his faithful Indian companion, Tonto, the masked rider of the plains led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. The stories of his strength and courage, his daring and resourcefulness have come down to us through the generations. And nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past and the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse, Silver... The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver. Hurry, big fellow. I'm Silver. It was the year a Yankee salesman named Adam Webster hired a spring wagon to make the trip from Somerset to Placer Gulch. My name's Hank Tucker, stranger. Do most of the hauling from here up to the gulch. All right. That's my baggage over there on the platform. A long wooden box. Come on, I'll help you lift it. Well, here we are. There. Now, where do I sit? Front seat with me. It's, it's none of my business, stranger, but that box back there is kind of funny-looking baggage to be lugging up to a gold camp. There's nothing funny about it. I'm a traveling salesman. The box contains a sample of my product. <laughs> well, from the size and shape of the thing, folks might think it was a coffin. It is. Huh? I'm a casket salesman. Well, I'll be... Get up there! <laughs> That was the year the Lone Ranger and Tonto followed a dangerous trail that led to a rock-strewn plateau in the Rocky Mountains. Oh, 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 It was also the year an unknown bandit brought out Laurie in sudden death to the gold camps and lonely trails. It was the year of the cameo kid. All right, sense reach. Uh, listen, no sneaking owl who can walk in here and make me put... Hey, Anybody else want to argue the point? My hands are up. What do you want? Now you're talking sense. You're empty whatever's in the till into the sack. Uh, sure, sure, anything you say, just don't... Say. All right, make it fast. Uh, here, this is all I can find. All right, I'll take it. Uh, now remember, Chance, you want to go on living, keep your shooting irons in the leather. Good night. Oh, 
about Mike? Yeah, he's dead. That murdering coyote shot him down without giving Say, a I know who that was. That mask didn't fool me. Did you see the big ring he was wearing on his left hand? That was the cameo kid. Sure, it was him. That don't help Mike. And he took every cent out of the till. The cameo kid. How much longer is the law in this country going to let a murdering snake like him run loose? Well, Sheriff Camote over in Placer Gulch is going to know about this first thing in the morning. Get along, you critters. Spread your legs. Supper in Placer Gulch. They won't be eating any place. If you don't tool this big close to the mountain, hey, watch out. <laughs> I'm driving the team, Charlie. You're the shotgun guard. Then you're knitting. This road's dangerous. Look at the creek down there. Must be a 600 foot drop. What of it? There ain't a chance oh, of us. Look back. Oh, oh, there. Oh, 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 there. Oh, oh. Road agent. And he's wearing a mask. Sure it is. Let me your rifle in. Go down the fox, boys. There won't be any fireworks. All right, mister. Here's... Oh! Maybe you didn't hear me. I said throw down the box. Oh, my arm. If you don't do what I say, you won't even be able to yell. It's the cameo kid, Charlie. Better let him have it. Yeah. I know. I... Thanks, gents. Now whip up that team and line out of here. Pronto. Sure, sure, I'll... Get up, you critters. Yeah. It was almost midnight when Frank Barlow left the Golden Eagle Saloon in Placer Gulch. Held up a cafe in White City and robbed the Wells Fargo stage. Who did it? Cameo Kid. A dozen people saw the ring he wears. He mounted his horse and headed out of town. Steady, fella. Get up. Get up. Less than an hour later, he reined up sharply in front of a deserted miner's shack. Oh, boy. Good. Steady, fella. Yeah. No sign of him. I guess he ain't anywhere. Uh, about time you were showing up. Where you been? Oh, I, I didn't see you, kid. I... Uh, you bring some grub like I told you yeah, to? Yeah, uh, in my saddlebags. I'll well, get it and come inside. I'll make a light. Here's the grub. All I could get without somebody getting suspicious. Uh, Everybody uh, in town is talking about what you did at White City and the Wells Fargo stays. They know it was you, kid. They they recognized you. Good. They're awful mad, kid. Sheriff Carmody's going to form a posse first thing in the morning. I don't think you Shut ought up. To... I'll do my own thinking. Did you find out about the nuggets and dust in that cracker box they call a bank? No gold's been shipped out of Placer Gulch for over a month. So there's plenty of it in the bank. But that doesn't do us any good. Why not? They're watching it day and night. Besides, just like I told you, the sheriff is going to scour every inch of dirt between here and Winchester looking for you. You've got to get out of here, kid, and lay low, because if you Listen, don't... No tin star and his law dogs are ever going to trip me. I can outshoot any ten of them. I know you can, kid. But there's all to be twice that many in the posse. And they'll come past here. They're bound to. Well, let them. Long before that time, I'll be over Summit Pass and in a hideout out by the river. Meet me back here tomorrow night. We'll save him the trouble of shipping out that gold. Uh, no, it's too risky. I tell you, you can't... Let me say... tell you something. Ever since I hit this neck of the woods, you made out all right by doing as I say, ain't you? Sure, I have. And we'll but... keep on playing that way. Listen, I got a job for you to do tomorrow morning. Uh, wait a minute. Look at these. Gold nuggets. Where did you that get up? job in White City. Now, if you do what I tell you, we'll get ten times as many out of the bank in Placer Gulch. Uh, what do you mean? <laughs> you know where Indian Creek is? Sure. The other side of Summit Pass. But there's no color there. It's been panned a thousand Shut times. up. Tomorrow morning at daybreak, you take these nuggets to Indian Creek and plant them. Plant them? You must be a local kid. Just I... two or three. 
Bring the rest back to Placer Gulch to prove the big gold strike you've just made. Be sure everybody knows it. Uh, how about... Oh, you dumb galoot. Every man in town will be on his way to Indian Creek inside of two minutes. Oh, I see. Then you will have... Have pl plenty of time to make a gold strike of our own. At the bank. <laughs> you savvy? Yeah, I Well, then I... take these and get out of here. Be back tomorrow night. <laughs> Everybody's here, Sheriff, except Frank Barlow. Guess he must have gone to bed. You want me to? I'll go over to the boarding house. Oh, no, no, we've got enough here. Now, gents, listen. You all know why I called this meeting. There's a murdering snake running loose in these parts. We're going to run him down. I'm talking about the cameo kid. He killed one man tonight and wounded the stage guard. He's wanted for murder in a dozen different places. Well, let's corral the coyote and string him up. Oh, no, no, no. There won't be any lynching. Cameo kid will hang, all right. But Winchester's got first claim on him. When we run him down, we'll send him there. I got a letter from the Winchester sheriff last week. He said he was sending somebody up here after the kid. But nobody showed up. So we'll do the job. All right, that's all. Be here at daybreak. I'll swear all of you in as deputies. Sheriff, Sheriff Thermley. Hmm? Oh, hello, Hank. What do you want? I got a gent here who wants to meet you. He's a traveling man. Sheriff Ed Carmody, this is Mr. Adam Webster. How, How do you do, Webster? Sheriff? Mr. Webster figured he ought to see the mayor. But Placer Gulch ain't got no mayor. Well, so maybe I... I can explain, Sheriff. I am taking orders one of the finest products ever built. Everybody needs one of them eventually, so they might as well buy it now. I'd like to place a sample on display. Uh, the front window of the hotel would be a good location, and if you have no wait, objection... Uh, wait, wait a minute. What is this product you're selling? A genuine hardwood fuss line casket. Well, it will I... not warm or corrode. It's waterproof. That's proof. Uh, listen, warm... stranger. I think most folks here in Placer Gulch figure a pine box is good enough for burying. Well, that serves a purpose, of course. But if anybody's However... local enough to buy one of your fancy coffins, you're welcome to sell them. Why, thanks for your recommendation, Sheriff. Thank you very much. Ever hear of anything like this before? No, I haven't. I'm too busy to worry about it. Get him out of here. Hey, come on, Mr. Webster. I'll take you over to the hotel. Very well. Now remember, boys, tomorrow morning at sunrise. It was just after daybreak when the Lone Ranger and Tonto broke camp and saddled their horses. Steady, Silver. <laughs> According to my directions, Tonto, Parser Gulch is just the other side of this pass. Shouldn't take us long to get there. Oh. Easy. Is that a big fella? Uh, mountains plenty high. Trail steep. Yes. This is a lot different than the plains country. But I'm sure we can... Hello, listen. Ah, fellow ride this way plenty fast. You see him now? Hmm. He's pushing that horse for all it's worth. we better stay out of sight until... Look, plenty fellas trail him. Yes, it's a lawman's posse. We'll be caught in the middle unless we move and move fast. And what we do? Come on, Silver. Get on. Get on. The only way to lose them is by splitting up. Ah, I'll cut to the right. There's trees for cover down this slope. Ah, you stick to this trail. The out can outrun their horses. Then circle back and meet me where we made camp. Ah, me do it. But keep us up. Don't worry about me, Tonto. Ride. Come on, Silver. Get him up. Count. Curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
to continue our story. With a thickly wooded slope screening him from view, it was an easy matter for the Lone Ranger to stay ahead of his pursuers. And a short time later, covering his back trail by riding along the bed of a shallow creek, the masked man sighted something that made him rein up sharply. Oh, 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 easy. I've seen a lot of men take gold out of a creek. It's the first time I've ever seen anyone put gold in. Quiet, Silver. We'd better circle back and meet Toto. Come on, Silver. Kimosabe. Who's firing at you, part of the posse? No, that not lawman. That outlaw. We find him here. Come on. Shouldn't be hard to smoke him out, Tonto. We'll try. Uh, Kimosabe, follow there. Him see us. Yeah, that's smart talk, Engine. I've had you two hombres spotted ever since you slid off your knives. Oh, watch him, huh? Get your claws up and get him high. Put up your hands, Tonto. Wait till he starts toward us. All right. You're calling the plays. What's next? Oh, so now the law's hiring Al Hoots to run me down. Seems we've succeeded. Yeah? It's long enough for me to shove a lead of daylight through both of you critters. I wouldn't be too sure of that, kid. Uh, you even know who I am, don't you? Well, that's the last thing you'll ever know, because I'm... Gonna... Down, Toto. Uh-huh. Oh, my hand! Why, you dirty let's... He's getting away, but I'll stop him. Oh. One way to stop oh. an outlaw. Come on. Oh, my leg. Got a slug in both of them. You're lucky we didn't aim any higher. Better break than you've given most of the men you shot down. Hey, what, what's the idea? If you want Braze to ride back trails, why'd you hold That's him a on... question you can ask the sheriff of Placer Gulch. Placer well, Gulch? You going there? That's exactly where we're heading. That's as soon as we can pack you into one of our horses. lamb. Oh, there. I'll make a light. I've See. been waiting for you, Sheriff. What? A mask owl hoot. And an engine. Why, well, you're the... I don't reach for it. We can talk better without guns. Besides, Tonto has you covered. Well, I... All right, what do you want? I'd like to introduce someone you've been wanting to meet over there in the corner. The cameo kid. The cameo kid? Now, you got me, Tin Star. And I'll never hang, you can bet on that. It is him. He's wearing the ring. It's a kid, all right. Good. Our job's done. Come on, Toto. Ah. Oh, wait a minute. Yes? I want an explanation. You bring in a murdering owl hoot I've been trailing. But you're wearing a mask yourself. Come to think of it, you and this redskin look something like two hombres who gave me the slip at Summit Pass. You're right, Sheriff. That was us. But Toto and I came up here to help you. We just happened to reach the kid before you did. That's all. Help me. Never saw a lawman wearing a mask before. Who sent you? A friend of yours, the sheriff at Winchester. Here, maybe this will explain it. Adios, sheriff. What's this? Well, I'll be... It's a silver bullet. Cameo kid in jail. Gonna take him to Winchester tomorrow. How did it happen? I don't know. Harmony's kind of cagey about answering questions. But he's got the kid. I saw him in jail. Oh, hey, 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 listen, hey, are you sourdoughs? Look at this. Gold. Look at them nuggets. Where's the strike, Frank? Indian Creek. There's plenty of this for everybody. <laughs> the gold strike at Indian Creek? I can haul that fancy burying contraption back to Somerset any time. But tomorrow I want to... You force me to remind you of our agreement, Mr. Tucker. You were paid in advance. I want my sample case carted to Somerset first thing in the morning. Uh, Well, all right. 
right. I, I did promise you, but... Tucker, what's this Hello, I Hello, Frank. Mighty good news about your strike. Uh, what's this about the sheriff capturing an outlaw? Sure, didn't you hear? Carmody's got the cameo kid bottled up in the calaboose. The cameo kid? Yeah. Boy, see, he ain't so spry. <laughs> Guess he stopped some lead. Hey, uh, I'll see you later, Hank. Uh, <laughs> yeah, well, now, what do you suppose is wrong with him? Don't need to guard an hombre with both legs broken. I can't walk. Well, how, how did it happen? Yeah, some owl hoot and an engine ganged up on me. Owl hoot? Engine? Well, I thought yeah, the Never sure. mind what's happened. I got to get out of here. I got to make a break. Break? If your legs are hurt, you can't walk. You're I... going to carry me. Where? You see that long wooden box sitting on the porch of the hotel across the street? And there's a coffin inside of it. A fellow from the east was trying to sell him here in town. Yeah, I know but... all about that. After your fake story about the new gold strike, the town will be deserted by midnight. So this is what we'll do. You break me out of here. Easy, man. Take it easy. Heavier than I thought, kid. Oh, away. What's on you? No, no, I didn't. Oh, but you made me lose my ring. Slipped off on a grab for your shoulder. Mm, sorry, kid. I'll try oh, to... forget it. Here's a porch. Now put me down. <laughs> now what do we do? You got a knife. Pry the lid off this box. Hurry up. Right. That's it. Now open the one that's inside. I, I don't like the idea of this. Open kid. it. Well, lift me in there. <laughs> Easy. That's it. You, you sure you'll be all right? Shut up. Give me your gun. Yeah, here. When I come out of here, I'm going to need it. I still don't think... Shut up. I... All you have to do is put the lid on this thing. Get busy. <laughs> past sunrise the following morning when Tonto returned to camp from Placer Gulch. Oh, it's gone. Oh, far, oh. Oh, oh, far, oh. What's wrong? Can your kid break jail? Him gone. What? That sounds impossible. He couldn't walk. Not many men in town. Sheriff take them all to make posse. Him say maybe outlaw have help. Somebody bring him horse. That's the only way it could have been done. Has the sheriff picked up any kind of a trail? Oh, me don't know. Me hear him say they find ring that outlaw wear. You mean the cameo? Ah, they find a cross street from jail by hotel. Mm-hmm. Probably lost it when he and whoever helped him mounted their horses there at the hitch rack in front of the... Uh, what matter? Oh, I just remembered. There is no hitch rack in front of the hotel. What would he be doing there unless he... Otto, do you remember anything in front of the hotel last night? No. Only thing Tom to see was big box and porch. Yes, yes, I know. That belonged to a casket salesman who was... It's not tra- there now. I'm going to take it away this morning. Oh, that couldn't be... Yes, it could. Here, Silver. Uh, me not savvy. Neither do I, Toto. There's a chance that the cameo kid left Placer Gulch in a coffin. We've got to find the wagon that's carrying it. Silly big fella. Come on, Silver. Get him up, scout. <laughs> Out of the wagon so far. He must be almost to the top of the pass. Ah, Master Silver. Get him out, scout. Oh, boy, oh, oh, boy. Oh, oh, oh. Hi, Hank. Hello, boys. Where are you two heading? In In Creek. What's the matter with you? Ain't you heard about the new strike? Sure, I heard about it, but I got to deliver this to box over to Somerset. Dad, blast it, i sure like to be going with you boys. Why not? Ain't nothing in that box but an empty coffin, is there? Well, that's all. Well, you can make more pan and gold than you're making hauling boxes. Why don't you come with us? Well, I'd sure like to, but but how can I? I got to take this Seems box... Seems to me, Hank, you might have a little uh, accident with that box. It might slip off your wagon and go over the edge of the trail here. 
Then you'd be free to come with us and pan some gold. Sure. Who cares about an empty box? Accidents happen all the time. Nobody's to blame. Well, still, I ought to have... Well, by Juniper, you're right. I'm going to do it. Yes, steady, fellow. Wait a minute. I'll help you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, just put down that end gate and we can slide it over the edge. All right, lift it up. Here we go. Yeah, wait a minute. Somebody coming. Oh, why should we wait? Let that box fall. Match. Oh, 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 let it go. Yeah. I told you not to let it fall. We ain't taking any orders from a mask out here. Hey, here comes a posse. Hey, look, Sheriff, and I'll keep your guns and other boys. This jet's a friend of mine. I'm afraid both of us arrived too late, Sheriff. What do you mean? To catch the cameo kid alive. The cameo kid wasn't here, Sheriff. I just had a little accident, that's all. That empty coffin I was hauling just slipped off the wagon. Now I can head for Indian Creek and the new gold strike. Is that why you did it? Uh, well, uh, I, uh... The outlaw was killed by the lie he created himself. You over there. You're the man I saw planting gold in Indian Creek yesterday. Uh, what do you mean? What? I didn't have... Frank to... Barlow? Yes, you did. And somebody had to help the kid get out of jail. But it's you. Listen, no mask owl who is going to accuse me. I'm sure he's your man, Sheriff. When you get back to Placer Gold, searching for part of the gold that the cameo kid stole in this territory. I said I wasn't going to be hold searching. Hold it, hold it. Go on if I can figure this out. Where is the cameo kid? He's dead, Sheriff. The bottom of that canyon. I don't know why he staged a fake gold rush. Maybe his partner can tell you. Should have plenty of time to think it over. He'll have the time, all right. In jail. Good. Ready, Tonto. Ah. Adios, Sheriff. Come on, Silver. Get him up to the count. Just tell me one thing, Sheriff. Who is he? What's his name? The Lone Ranger. just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated. 